Hey, it's Medicosis Perfectionals where medicine makes perfect sense. Today we have a quick review about vitamin B2 or riboflavin, which is found in fish, eggs, mushroom, yeast, that's a biggie, as well as others. Before we start, this is a biochemistry playlist on my channel and we have talked about vitamin B2 in several videos. In the first one we talked about vitamin B2. Next we talk about enzymology and what are the enzymes that are influenced by vitamin B2. Then we talked about the vitamin B2 deficiency and we had a mnemonic about vitamin 2. This is just a quick review. If you have any problems here, please go to my previous video. Vitamins are organic molecules and they are essentials and they are cofactors for enzymes. Vitamin B2 is a cofactor for bazillion enzymes. Why? Because vitamin B2 is a precursor for two substances. One is called FAD, one is called FMN and those are huge cofactors for bazillion enzymes. Vitamin B is water soluble. However, it's less water soluble than other vitamin Bs and other than and less than vitamin C. If you are water soluble, deficiency is more likely, but toxicity is less likely. Have you ever seen a patient with hypervitaminosis B2? Almost never. Vitamin B2 is freaking riboflavin. And I've told you why we call it riboflavin in a previous video. In many countries, bread and pasta are fortified with vitamin B2. What are the benefits of vitamin B2? Oh, it can treat vitamin B2 deficiency. Great, what else? You can use it for corneal ectasia, for blood sterilization. There is very weak evidence that it can be useful in migraine in adults. Zyduvudine induced lactic acidosis and for patients who suffer from multiple acyl-CoA dehydrogenase deficiency, that's a problem with the beta oxidation, which makes perfect sense because vitamin B2 will give you FAD. FAD is a cofactor for a certain enzyme which participates in the beta oxidation, so it makes sense. Riboflavin, ribitol plus flavin equals riboflavin, this is your vitamin B2. These are the natural sources, these are the artificial sources. You consume eggs, fish, mushroom, yeast, etc. You enter into your esophagus as vitamin B2 with albumin. And then in the stomach, HCL will sever this relationship. Now B2 is free. B2 is going to be absorbed into the bloodstream, enters into the portal vein and then to your liver. Riboflavin becomes FMN and then becomes FAD. And FAD is becoming stored as flavoproteins. So vitamin B2 is stored in your body as flavoproteins. And that's why if you have a patient who suffers from B2 deficiency, it's not a good idea just to measure the level of B2 in the blood because most of the vitamin B2 in your body is stored in the form not of vitamin B2, but of freaking flavoproteins. There are three famous enzymes that need five cofactors. The three enzymes are here, we've talked about them before, and the five cofactors are here. The mnemonic is Teflon Company. Riboflavin will give you FMN and FAD. FMN has, is helpful here, and FAD is helpful for all of these. We have talked about all of them before. Here are the important ones. FMN is needed for complex 1 in the electron transport chain. FAD is always late. It goes to complex 2. FAD is always late. It's late compared to the FMN and it's late compared to the NAD. Not even that, like NADH will give you 3 ATP. But FADH2 will give you only 2 ATPs. FAD is always late. FAD is a freaking loser. Succinate dehydrogenase is a huge enzyme in the TCA cycle and you need FAD to become FADH2 to give you the F fumarate. F me. Your red blood cells are in danger. They are endangered by the H2O2, the reactive oxygen species, those free radicals. How do you get rid of them? Convert them to water. How do you do this? You will need reduced glutathione. How do you get reduced glutathione? From glutathione reductase and you need FAD for that. FAD comes from the freaking riboflavin. And by the way, FAD is always freaking late. It gives you only two ATP and it enters into the second complex, not the first complex in the ETC. A riboflavinosis, baby. What are the causes of riboflavin deficiency? Primary or secondary? Primary decrease intake, such as malnutrition. Secondary, you have normal intake, but decreased consumption. What are the symptoms of ariboflavinosis? Glossitis, stomatitis, angular stomatitis, chelitis, chelosis, scaly skin, rashes on scrotum, vulva, and the filtrum of the lip, itchy and watery eyes, pallor and fatigue because of the iron deficiency anemia. 
How do you diagnose vitamin B2 deficiency from the urine level of vitamin B2? Shut up. You do it by erythrocyte glutathione reductase activity. That's a major flavor protein. Flavor protein, that's the major or the main form of vitamin B2 in your body. Of course, this is FAD dependent, if you remember like five seconds ago. How do you treat it? If the patient has no vitamin B2, the treatment is to give vitamin B2. Some clinical pearls. Somatitis can be seen in vitamin B2 deficiency and vitamin B3 deficiency. That's why we call vitamin B2 deficiency pellagra sign pellagra. Please be aware because some of the gluten-free food has not been enriched with thiamine, riboflavin, or niacin. Here is the F mnemonic for the freaking riboflavin. Riboflavin from fortified bread and pasta, from fish, eggs, yeast, etc. And then why do you use it? On your face, I mean your eyes, cornea, lactasia, you filter the blood. And for a riboflavinosis, which is B2 deficiency. Speaking of B2 deficiency, you will have inflammation of the tongue, of the mouth, of the lips, and fatigue because of the iron deficiency anemia. And you can also use it for multiple acyl CoA dehydrogenase deficiency because it's a problem in the beta oxidations of freaking fatty acids. Riboflavin is one of the five cofactors. It gives you FMN and FAD. It's helpful for pyruvate dehydrogenase and in succinate dehydrogenase, which gives you fumarate. And it's a precursor for FAD and the fatty acyl CoA dehydrogenase. That's the enzyme that's used in the beta oxidation of the freaking fatty acids. And you remember that glucagon, which comes from the alpha cell, can boost your beta oxidation because glucagon wants you to burn fat to get energy. Hashtag fasting state. Now please try to answer these questions. You can get my antibiotics lecture at medicosisperfectionalist.com or you can get my cardiac pharmacology course medicosisperfectionalist.com and there is a free sample. You can get a 50% discount towards my cardiac pharmacology course. Use the promo code CARDIOPHARM50. I post a lot on Facebook and Instagram. Would like to see you there. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. You can email me here. You can get my premium courses such as cardiac pharmacology or antibiotics here. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.